What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Having Said That Show. I'm your co-host Adi, alongside Ariana today. A first time for Ariana co-host. Finally, thanks, guys. I finally made it. Of course, you guys can see that we're dressed to the nines, and it's because we have one of my favorite guests that I've ever had to deal with so far. Let's see how the episode goes. <laughs> But Tarani is on the show. Make some noise, guys. Hi, Tony. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm I'm, so excited. I texted Adi saying that I haven't been this excited for a really long time, and he thought I was taking the piss, but I was being properly serious. <laughs> yeah, I thought she was trying to like be nice to me, so I'm nice to her, <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. Like I was just so nice to you. But let's see how the episode goes. I think the first thing we love starting off with is the controversial opinion, and you said you have four. Oh, we st- we're starting with that. Yeah, we're starting with that. <laughs> Okay. Um. So I had a few, but I've narrowed in on one. Okay. So okay, this is that exes cannot be friends. Ah. Uh, hmm. Like I think okay, immediately I th- after they can't for sure. No, I feel that they are like Not more than friends, but they're like less than partners. Like I just think that when you've experienced someone in that proximity and you've been that intimate with them, yeah, I just don't think they can be friends. I like can be friendly. I agree. Yeah. yeah. But because I'm not friends with my ex at all. <laughs> yeah. He's telling his girlfriend right He's now. Telling her. Her loss, huh? Some of that. I think that eventually you can. I think immediately after, of course, no, not. No. So even eventually, I feel. And by the way, I'm I'm like friends with all my exes. Like all of them were at my wedding. Oh. Literally, every person oh, I've that's ever dated was at weird. my wedding. Oh, that's a little weird. No, 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 no. What I mean is that I'm friends with them, of course. But it's not, and it's platonic. But I think we need to come up with a different term. Like mm. an ex-boyfriend seems there's like stigma attached. Mm. But we're not really friends. Like I know what you mean. I want to say it has to be like a like a proper ex, like someone you dated in the seventh grade doesn't count. Yeah, of course. You know what I'm not. saying? I so that yes, and then B. The reason I'm a little hesitant to agree with you 100% is because of like divorced couples that co-parent or divorced couples that are friends and like their new partners are friends and stuff. And they exist like in harmony, and they're not just like friendly. They are legitimately friends. Oh, so you think that they can? They are legitimately like they can be friends. I do believe that eventually you can be. I personally don't think I can be friends with my ex. I also think He that he loves too deeply. You know, I love too deeply. <laughs> nice. I do too, though. That's why I I do too. I mean, yeah, and I also I, I do agree. Like immediately after we're going, like, oh, we should stay friends. No, that's a fucking myth, bro. Everyone yeah. knows that's I think a the myth. The context of why you broke up matters a lot. If y'all both were like, hey, this is clearly not working. We're not right for each other. Then it's more likely that you'd be friends mm. because you can see the perspective yeah. of like. I just think that that relationship is like too. It has too many layers. Yeah, like mm. the way they know. I mean, it's gonna sound so crazy, but I feel like I almost feel like some of my exes are just like cousins. Like Ew. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> What? Okay, I Bro. have to say I do not agree with Tarni <laughs> at all. <laughs> I know earlier it seemed no, like no, I was like, no, yes, no, you are no, right. No, no, your, no, hear me your, out. Hear no, me no, out. No, no, at your out. at your wedding when you invited all your exes, was your husband cool with that? Yeah, of course. So he's met them. He's ha- yeah, hung yeah, out with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then you're I not mean, friends. You're not like proper friends. <laughs> They are cousins, no, no, bro. No, no. Okay, guys, we're gonna have to cut this out. Like, no. no, okay. So what I mean is, okay, I shouldn't have said the cousins. But <laughs> obviously not. They're not my cousins. My exes are not my cousins. Uh, I mean that intimacy and that. Bond and that like deep friendship, yeah, and the amount that they know about your family, yeah, and oh. the amount that I think that a part of them like is in your DNA. Like I, yeah. I feel like I don't know. I, I know what you mean. Like they, they form you. They, they, they are like they're part they're of you. Part, part of your, of your identity, life. right? Yeah. Like so many of my experiences or my opinions are because of what I have gone through with them. Yeah. So the person that I am today is. They still very much exist in my identity, and in a way that is way more than like just a friend. Oh, you so like, you're saying it's a little bit more. Yeah, but but like but platonic. Like I think there needs to be a different oh. word for this kind of. A, I think it's just like. Does yeah. that make sense? It, It does. does. So you guys are over your you you face. Yeah. <laughs> But that's a good thing. Like maybe we can come up with a word for that. This is the thing. I think we should come up with yeah. a word because like not being, cousins. Like, yeah. Okay, not cousins, but ex lovers. Like your 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 words, Z, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Like I'm words. I'm known for my words. Yeah. I, so it's like friend plus is what like it is. Friend plus. It's you know it's not like it's like the iPhone But pro friend pro. But this is platonic. Like when I say this, I mean. 
completely platonic. So I've asked yeah. these these people on the pod once before whether they believe in soulmates, and they these all people? said yes. These people, <laughs> yeah, these these people, <laughs> and they all said yes. I yeah. believe in having a lot of soulmates. I think your exes are part of that trajectory of like you you meet a soulmate. You connect with them. They build you up in some yes. way, and then you move on. But it's so weird to call your ex a soulmate. Like my husband will definitely not appreciate that. You know what so I mean? So maybe like soul something. Like no soul. Not they were your soulmate when you were like nineteen. Like what's the song when she says you were the love of my life when we were young? Yeah. When we were young. I mean, no, it's not that one. That. It's the song is called. It's, I think it's Twenty One by Gracie Abrams. But the line is, um, you'll be the love, um, you'll be the love of my life when a we were young. Soul acquaintance. Yeah. I, like, yeah, soul is very strong. See, it's like not so intense. It's, I, you guys know what I a mean. A friend yeah. plus, bro. I think it's they a friend plus. It's like a it's a, a surplus friend. A sub. Oh, no. So, no. Oh, oh, instead of an ex, like maybe we can call them extra friend. That's no, just no, like no. an extra <laughs> friend. Like, like fill the seats. I think we can. Table. I think we can all brainstorm this and have something by the end of the episode. So we all have to pitch one name. I think okay. that's a good idea. It's yeah. Good. Okay, okay, but like we we'll cut the cousins part. <laughs> no, that was the best bit. That was, that the, was, best yeah, that was the best bit. So the title of this podcast is going to be "We interviewed a girl who dates all her cousins." <laughs> Wait, she dates her cousins. Yeah. <laughs> like, clickbait. I have a question that yeah. has been an argument on the show, and I want to know what you think. Do you think that a single boy and a single girl can be best friends? A hundred percent. Yes. Thank you, my God. Thank you. Hundred percent. Yes. Really? Sanity has oh, returned. A best friend. Best friends. I think so. Thank you. Like hanging out all the time. Where one of them is not obsessed with the other. Yes. I uh, mean, both of them have to not be obsessed with each other or equally obsessed with each other. I mean, the thing is, you have to be on the same page. It doesn't work if even one of them has a slight, like, crush or whatever you yeah. want to call it. But, but don't you think the chances are more of them having a crush? I don't they're think both single. so. I mean, firstly, I mean, I think also, of course, we're saying boy and girl, but it could be like I'm best friends with my female. Like I can potentially be best friend with my friend who's lesbian. Yeah, like oh, you're not yeah. attracted to women. Yeah, but the thing is, they won't be attracted to me either. But in this case, <laughs> both, of y'all, both of y'all, both of y'all are hetero. Yeah. Both of y'all are no. Okay, so hetero girl. Hetero boy. Hetero boy. A hundred percent, yes. Thank you, Tarni, because I got slated by them and everyone in the comments said, oh, Aman's really gone through the trenches with this <laughs> argument, which had not happened. It's okay, just, there's, I a, think... there's a more interesting question here, which is, okay, I agree, hundred percent, yes, they can be. What are the chances? It's happened to me multiple times. You're I've had right. a lot of, as someone who grew up with a brother, having like, stro- <laughs> like strong like women as my best way. friends. No, <laughs> like I only, I didn't have a sister. I didn't have a sister, so I, like I, I had an older brother, and so a lot of these like w- women friendships that I had, these girls who were my best friends, nothing happened with us. They would, we would talk about whatever. These girls are still my best friends, help like shape who I am as a person, and it it positively impacted my life but, and but how I here's approach where I disagree. relationships. You can't have like five best friends, yeah. bro. Yeah. Okay, so you mean like that one that human one being, person. like yeah. your person? Who, yeah, you have one person. Hmm. But, so there's also the other thing where you can sure you could be best friends, but no, what there's certain things that are like you suppose just like you and Jay. Yeah. You can't have that same relationship with a girl, right? Yeah. You can't tell that no, girl not, everything not. what you can tell Jay. Yeah. As but a that's friend, with as a friend. sibling as well. Like can. I can't, I can't. With a sibling as well, I right? I love my brother and my sister. Yeah. But I still, and I love my friends as well. But there's always that one person that you go for to that for that one thing. You can't but, um, have a hundred percent with anything. Like I don't, I don't think you can have a hundred percent partnership with any human being. Yeah. Yeah, that's so true. No, but that's not. No, but the whole thing is. I just feel like if I, not me. That's not me. <laughs> no, no. Let's. I'm let's. just saying a single girl and a single boy who are not interested in anyone else are best friends. Don't you think at some point of their friendship they might have hanging, thought about it? Exactly. Yeah. I think. I think that there's thought, shady the vibes. May have come. The but thought but you know, my therapist mind. always says, okay. and this is something that's really helped me in my life, is that you can't be guilty of a thought crime. So oh, what you think actually yeah. has no bearing on anything. That's true. So if they've thought about it, like okay, maybe you can have a fleeting thought, but if you've not acted on it, then nothing in life changes. Bro, I'm. I've had. I had a friend in college. My best friend from college. I had. 
as in like I'm just saying in the, no, no, no 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 she's she still one a, of my she had another she had no, 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 no. she's still one of my best friends but obviously now we live in different countries so I obviously don't talk to her as much as I did but when I see her it's like if I have a crisis I'll talk to like message her whatever right like she's someone I hold very dearly in my life we are completely platonic have always been platonic we were both sing- single and then obviously we went off to date other people after like like consulting each other on the basis of like you know like you consult a friend she was the first person i texted after i met anaya like this girl has had a very strong impact in my life and we were we were best friends and it is okay, ma, very possible you, thank you i think yeah i think it is very my question possible. was what are the chances the chances are like higher 4% <laughs> you know you know I, i i feel like i might have to change my answer oh fuck amazing i'll tell you why because i how many boys have you known that you were best friends with who ended up liking <laughs> I you i literally hooked up with all of them well now that's on you bro <laughs> yeah. no but i don't generalize so true i think that i think let's end it here but yeah someone has once again oh, had oh, a oh, loss oh, and oh, no but you know what i like... i think you're just god's child amma like um, you're, 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 you're no, i i i feel like i want to agree with you. You want yeah. you want to believe that that I'm can just, exist but it doesn't. But I think it does. I still think it does. Sorry. Sorry. 4%. No, it does. I just it doesn't it doesn't in my opinion. And I think what what I mean is that when you're younger, like I have so many male friends who I love and totally platonic with. But when you're younger, like e- I'm thinking of like even shit like spin the bottle and stuff, right? Yeah. Hmm. Like I'm thinking like that kind of. Yeah, okay. So I mean again me and my friend I'll just, me and nirali never hooked up nothing nothing romantic ever happened between us okay <laughs> are you dropping a name right like, like, sh- i mean i don't know why i'm hiding her name um and yeah that's how i feel anyway we're clearly coming to you with a lot of our problems right no, i love that right? i love that we bro it's you <laughs> that's the figure you are you in all this room one by one and i'll we created a segment about it that and this is amazing. my segue okay cool and our segment is called Oh, oh. <laughs> a segment is called <laughs> WW I was how to plug remind me I was like nostalgic remind, me, just, remind me what the segment is called <laughs> remind me now please <laughs> stream now but also the what segment what would Tarani do it's a what spin would on what would Jesus do? do oh my goodness I don't think guys. we should say that part that which is Jesus so <laughs> when we were talking you said that your friends think that you're very good at responding to awkward situations Correct. and stuff like that So we've curated a few awkward situations that we think you might be helpful in helping with. Okay, but you have to text them to me because I have to <laughs> like pretend like I, I'm texting back. Okay, yeah, you want to text? Oh, no, okay. <laughs> um, it's what the they first call a bit, one, yeah. which I feel like would have helped before this episode. Yeah. Um, if a guest asks you to come on, you don't really want them to come on. <laughs> how, how do you say no? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. You're kidding. <laughs> okay, so. But okay, Charles, no. Like someone meets me in person. They, they fit the profile of everything else we do on the show, and they're like, "Yo, why haven't you gotten me on yet?" <laughs> What do I say? Okay, tell me a bit more about this person. Like, what's your relationship with them like? Social friends. We follow each other on Instagram. Mm. Um, they've met me at a couple of social. functions and this is the third time they're asking like yo like can we make time i know you said march was full but april's coming i mean i would just be honest and say and what say what and just say that um i just don't think just say that we do a vote like every person votes before we pick a guest <laughs> so i really want you on but yeah. all of these guys yeah. don't want yeah. you on That's yeah so bad. you just said let's i, I would be <laughs> honest <laughs> and then you invented a voting system yeah um, no i mean of course i would say it's not a good fit no, but, vote, but it is that's vote, what i'm saying the voting like, is a great idea yeah actually. i do the voting yeah. i would do the voting you would you should just lie and do the voting yeah. Yeah. yeah and blame you guys you don't mind i mind bro yeah, I, we all have we have tactics we have tactics that we all use i usually just go haha yeah maybe or i'll say haha uh, i don't do that side of things interesting yeah. so basically each of you throws the other under the bus yeah That's i don't the, i don't tell them who does that side of things yeah, i say like sami you won't tell them who's not voted yeah yeah exactly right yeah. you just say that like, yeah voting You just say so, people didn't vote you in. Yeah. So you know, three of y'all are thrown under the bus, basically, because it has to be a majority. Sure, okay, yeah. that's fine. You, but I don't want to do that. But you can, you can live with yeah. the fact that you were not one of those three, so it's okay. Okay, so then you just be honest and say that I don't think you should be on the show. No, no, no. I think it should be like, um, I agree with Aman's tactic of like, oh man, you should reach out to Sid and let him do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's not throwing me under the bus. <laughs> that's what I mean. Basically, you guys are just gonna blame each other. 
right? Yeah. Well, I think that's the way it's worked out so far is you'll just go oh yeah we'll see we're really booked up right now whatever and then they know that look if we're not following up with them then like people get the hit so basically you'd kind of slow ghost them yeah just yeah. like oh yeah cool okay, we'll so see. i have to tell you guys a story about ghosting yeah this was one of my other uh opinions like Love it. okay so i mean this is not my opinion but i want to share an opinion that i'd never heard before So I was kind of when I was So you've never heard this opinion but it's not yours. <laughs> As I know it was something that I'd like to discuss. Okay. Like it's not my okay, opinion, okay. it's someone else's opinion and I'd like to know other people's opinions on that said opinion, right? Okay. So, okay. Sure. So I was uh when I was very single, I was kind of seeing this guy. Uh and when I say kind of seeing, I mean like we were texting each other and he he doesn't live in the same city as I do. Okay. And um we were talking about like what it's like to be single and how do you not let someone on and like yeah. and then he said that he thinks that ghosting is actually the kinder thing to do okay and i as opposed to say so i said my opinion was that you know like if i was on the receiving end so you've gone on a date or you've gone on two dates and then you don't see it move forward mm-hmm. right yeah. and i said that i think that everyone should have the courage to say that to the person right like if i went on a date and i don't think i was connecting with someone i would text them being like hi so and so like i really appreciate the time that we've spent but i just don't see this going forward um and i don't i haven't been able to find a connection with you or whatever and you know yeah. you're a lovely guy and good and luck and his argument and was that and his argument was that actually ghosting is a much better thing to do because i mean that's such a fucking red flag right and then yeah. he ghosted me <laughs> <laughs> but that was his way of telling you yeah. so he was no, doing no, your no. thing by yeah, yeah, doing yeah. his thing yeah <laughs> uh, i are, are. yeah i hard hard disagree with him right yeah you you need to i mean if it's uh, minimum if it's two dates or more you have to have the courage if two it's been, dates if, if you met them twice yeah. or more Yeah. I mean if it's just one meet meeting whatever like No, I you know. think even with one meeting like I like clear communication. I I agree though. Yeah. But he said okay so this is what he said. He said that it's mu- it's a much kinder thing to do because then uh there is no they can't be like but why and they 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 won't feel like compelled to have this conversation with you and also they would just it would be easier for them to get over you because they they can just be like oh he's such a dick he ghosted me oh, oh that's so nice he was doing you a favor by ghosting you that is the most terrible argument i've heard in my life basically he just said oh it's just more selfish so i don't have to deal with this conversation yeah yeah he and it's pick, and he's then like trying pick. to justify it in his head yeah. no this is just it's obviously people ghost uh, uh, kind of on his side yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i can't agree with him Dude, how Guys. You see no, what I'm dealing with, bro? I'm so sorry for you. Exactly. I, I feel I really feel for you right now. No. Okay, here's no, my argument. Not kinder, you know, bro. It's, I I don't think I owe you anything. Who What? are you? Like I just spent I two know. hours with you. I don't have But to. But that two hours is a lot. And you yeah, spent two hours under the guise of hey, maybe this could be two years. And that's why But you have to. Should you get the clue if I haven't followed up that hey, it's done? I mean, okay, you can ghost. There's no fucking world where it's the kinder thing to do. The Correct. No, I'll that say I, I think it's a very cowardly thing. To yeah, hundred percent. You're just yeah. being selfish. Yeah. But isn't it equally cowardly? Like, let's say you meet them and you just don't like how they look, but you're you're not you're not. <laughs> Bro, no one's telling you to say, "Hey, you you're ugly." So, so then yeah. you're just, you're lying either way, right? You just you're being have cowardly. No, you have to say, "Hey, I I just don't see this working out between us." It's that simple. You don't have to say, "Hey, you're and an mostly. ugly woman." <laughs> so I don't this guy is you. saying he'll be like, "Why?" Why don't you see this working out? But then, then, what do you then you just say, "I just don't feel that way." That's fine. It's like, a, yeah, yeah. What are you talking vibe. about, bro? Yeah, it's just it's the easiest thing to vibe. say. Yeah, you can. You can't argue with that. Bro, if one person tells me, "Hey," le- okay, le- yeah, 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 yeah please, say? please okay. say. Okay. I'm literally the only single person here, so I have actually Sid. Oh, Sid. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 but like, but like, why is he different? <laughs> No, he's like, What? <laughs> Why is he different? I don't know. I <laughs> guess like he's a different person than me. <laughs> That's true. Both of us think it. Okay, anyway. Anyway, whatever. But I'll say that I've also been ghosted, mm. and I have also ghosted people. Mm. And I, I, it's like when you tell someone, it's like, does this person actually like care to know? You know what I mean? Like, do you want to like tell them that? Like, okay. So I mean, okay. So I've, I've. ghosted in the sense that someone's trying to make a like trying to have a conversation with you and then yeah. of course you kind of fizzle out yeah. and that 
but you don't like straight up that like don't reply to someone being like hi when are we meeting next oh like if someone said hi when are we meeting like next? if you've gone on one date i just be like uh i'm so sorry like this month is like really busy for but me. Like, traveling for work like it's not you yeah. don't go to them you said something bro but then like why should i say anything like it should just Bec- be not, you sh- you don't you're not compelled to do anything again the uh, the discussion here is the kinder thing to do is not to ghost yes. okay but the At kinder all. thing is also not i mean i know see when i was ghosted for see once someone ghosted me can i tell you how by sending me a ghost <laughs> emoji <laughs> <laughs> You guys just make shit up on this show. Oh, I'll show you. This search, is, search the ghost emoji. We want, we need proof. Yeah, the yeah. most iconic story of all time. Okay, so I dated this guy. <laughs> I went is... out with him a couple of dates. Okay, and I just the first date I went out with him, I was like, hey, listen, you know, like whatever, wherever this goes, whatever happens, just don't ghost me. Because like, the, oh, so you said that. I said very clearly because the guy before him had fully ghosted me also. This is a problem in your generation. It's a problem. No, so if you've been ghosted, how can you say it's the kinder thing to do? You yeah, obviously so just, it still I haunts see? you. Wait, just... But that's an amazing joke by him. I gotta say, to yeah, leave is, on is. the ghost. <laughs> Was it someone you knew? No, no, I don't know him. Is it someone we know? Yeah, of course. Oh, oh. I see, I just you know him. No one else knows him. Ah. It's a. Uh, Show, show, show oh, me. Show the camera know. also. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Show. Okay, okay. Wait, no, I need to. You also. Know, can I, I told you this? Pussy, I, I told Adi the story the first time I met him. Yeah, I remember. Of course, he I'm didn't. just playing it for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> he also, he also sent a message after. Okay, okay, but okay. Oh, but, oh man, he sent. Hey, you're mad, or? <laughs> <laughs> That's not okay. This is clickbait. Can I tell you my story? This is clickbait. Can I tell you my story? <laughs> so you're basically, still friends with him, Ariana. <laughs> but like, literally, I'm only friends with him because I confronted him about like what happened. We didn't talk, so we went on a couple of dates. Then I was like, hey, please don't ghost me. And then he said, "Okay, cool. Of course, I I like never. I'll always be honest and all." So I was like, "Cool, whatever." <laughs> so we go out. I like fully like fall in love with him. Yeah. And then we um. And then he was like, "Hey, actually, at the end of this month, I'm leaving this country forever." So I was like, "But he wasn't going." No, he was. He was. And so I was like, "Okay, let's just like date till then, and then whatever, have our hearts broken or whatever." Hmm. So he was like, "Okay, I'll think about it. I'll let you know." Then he didn't let me know. Okay, yeah. one week passes. He doesn't yeah. let me know. Yeah, like two weeks pass. He doesn't let me know. And I was like, "Ew, this guy's fully ghosting me." And you know the worst thing about being ghosted is then when you're trying to get their attention, and you send them like a meme on Insta, and they just like it, or they just oh, like. Oh, that's so you know desperate, I mean? bro! Ew, how can you do that? Yuck. Okay, then <laughs> what did he do? So I, was like, so I was like, I am not gonna let these boys get away with this. Okay, I have to confront him. Yeah. So I'm with I you. so I like wrote him a really nice message okay and like not to expose him but he worked at Microsoft. But you say expose him I think I think we should bleep that out okay. No why? There are few it, people in the circle who please bleep it this out. Describe no. another part of his body or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just said that I hope you Microsoft excel at job and life. Isn't that so nice? You send that to him after he goes to <laughs> so you. Before he goes. Yeah. And then he sent and you the ghost emoji. Ghost emoji. <laughs> I said you, Ariana. Bro, and then he also wrote a whole message. But also, can we just talk about how offended Ariana was that she got ghosted? Yes, and you were arguing not... that it was kind. No, but can I tell you something? Because then after this, another guy I went out with, like, actually told me, like, he was like, hey, this is actually not working out. And I think we're, like, really different people. That's and so much all nicer, of this right? But then I was like, I'm fully rejected by this guy. Oh, see? Hmm. But then, wouldn't you... F- oh, okay. So for me... I'd much rather that. Yeah, same. But I feel like you know what? when you know someone is like ghosting you, of course it's like cowardly on their part as well. But it's also like what this guy told you. It is easier to hate them. It is easier to be like, oh fuck that. I think guy. there's some good middle ground of like ghosting and being honest, where you just create a situation <laughs> that that like doesn't actually exist. <laughs> But or, it allows you to get away from the relationship. Like this guy are, leaving the country. I think the middle guy is just send a ghost true. emoji. That's the best thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. I love That's that one. Like, I would say definitely don't Ocean. send the ghost emoji. I then went to my work bathroom and cried. Yeah, it's horrible. Bro. So I was like, okay, wait. I we should get back to the segment. Yeah, okay, yeah. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. This, this is one of my favorites. Okay, you know what a nucleus of the group is, right? So, like, for example, if <laughs> we were going for dinner right now, yeah. and it was Home me, makeup. you, mm. and Aryan, for example. Mm. Okay, Aryan's our filmer, guys. Mm. Now, obviously, me and you know each other way more than you and Aryan know each other. Right. And then I cancel Are the you plan. Sure like, about that? Yeah. <laughs> and then I cancel the plan. Now, it's a bit awkward for y'all to still continue the plan, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. 
Now you do not wanna... at all. Okay, it's awkward for I'd be happy Aryan. to go for dinner with you. <laughs> it's awkward for Aryan. <laughs> Is it? Is it so, awkward for you to go for dinner with me? <laughs> so it's awkward for him and he wants to cancel the plan. Yeah. How should he tell you that, hey, yo, I don't want to do this at all? I mean, just say that something came up. But... Right I after I said something has come up for me yeah, yeah, and I got to cancel. But Adi, maybe the, you, the, you're the one who cancels the plan entirely. Just say like... No, no, no. But you know, there's some people, some irritating people who'd be like, yo guys, I can't come. You guys should definitely carry I'm, I'm, one, I'm, I'm one of those irritating bro, people I have a, do that. I love that. I, the perfect technique, bro. If let's say it's a group of three and the one guy who unites the trio dips and you yeah. don't want to go just the two of you, you yeah. just go, oh, okay. So then let's just all reschedule so we yeah, can all go yeah. out. That's I simple. always do that. That's, yeah. exactly, that's exactly what I would say. But wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I have, that's I have what I want to if, I... if one of if one of you guys, if either Aryan or you say that, yeah, then it can come across as suppose if you say, I'm not saying this is the fact. Suppose if yeah. you say it, it'll come across that you don't want to go with Aryan alone. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Aryan's super no, let's say in this situation, you're super down to go. And Aryan's <laughs> like, yo, I cannot do that. Like I'm this too awkward. Like, yeah. And then if he says let's reschedule and it comes across as like, oh, I don't want to go with you alone. No, I would just say that, you know, actually I'm really glad he cancelled. So the second he says that he's cancelled, I'll be like, uh, yay, thank God, because I have a headache and I've uh, really... Oh. See, like, you have to be quick. That's the response quick. I was looking for. I, yeah. That's a good response. Right. Yeah. That's a great response. That's what actually. Tarani would do. Now, okay, let's say you go for this dinner. Mm -hmm. It's three of you all only. Three as in? Just the two of us. No, no, no. no the three also, oh. the oh. nucleus is <laughs> <laughs> The nucleus is present. Okay. <laughs> is nucleus the right word? Yeah. yeah. It's I just, it's like the it's, it's, it's the social glue. Is the right word, I would argue. Nucleus holds everything. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> We've paid the bill or whatever. And like, I got to ask you guys to like reimburse me. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to ask your friends like, hey, reimburse yeah. me yeah. on split yeah, wise yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah. And then the person who you've asked hasn't done it for like a week. Yeah. So you got to make that awkward text of like, hey, can you pay me for oh, that? Oh, you know what I would do? <laughs> I would literally find something that I want to buy of the same amount and send them the link. Stop. Shut up. That's ruthless. <laughs> yeah, no, that's I wouldn't would actually do I that. I would. I'd be like, listen, uh, you know, instead of paying me back, why don't you just buy me this? So you have yeah. to want something whenever you want yeah. money back. I mean, you always want. No, you I always, always want, like, say I want a pair of socks. Yeah. And you owe me like 250 rupees and you're just not paying me. I'd just be like, buy me these socks instead. I yeah. mean, I think that's... I, I think my, my Wait, answer... you guys don't think this a, is like the best response? But you wouldn't actually do it. It's a bit passive aggressive. I would genuinely, properly do it. If you send me that text, I'd be like, is she okay? She hates me. Yeah, I would think no, she No, really? Can I suggest a little less aggressive way of doing it? <laughs> you it's guys just, find this aggressive? Yeah. Little yeah, less. Really. I'm going a little less. It's just that <laughs> you wait for a moment or an opportunity when... You go out for dinner again or something and you're like, hey dude, last time I paid, so maybe you get us today. But that's no, the no. same thing is what I mean. I'm but saying it's just that like, at least, at least the opportunity has come naturally. You're, you're telling him you buy me this. I'd 100% send an Amazon link. I actually like that, but I'm just trying to find a better way of putting it across. Obviously, you won't just send that. I'd be just like, hi, you know, I just, I find it very awkward to talk about money between friends. Yeah. Um, and, and obviously, like, I think we we just, I'd like to settle it, like, in other ways or whatever. This and is then the just, worst but, response no, ever. why? I would hate that. No, as in just, you know, you're like, I don't want to be like, I don't want to do hisab with a friend. Yeah. But It's awkward. I, I think there are a few ways around. If it's a friend and I really need this money back, like, if I pay, like, whatever, tw like, I drop, okay. like... Okay, let's I say it's 2K, that that. right? Yeah. I would, I would and if it's like a, it was one of you fuckers, I'd just be like, yo, can you just, just GPA me 2K, bro? Yeah. Right? It's that easy. It's awkward when it's like someone, it's not even like a friend of a friend, but it's like a work colleague. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then you go out and then you're just like, how do I, how yeah. do I do it? Sometimes you say like somebody, one of you, you tell your other colleague or just tell the group that, oh, you all owe a month this much. Other, well, someone once in a while, you just fucking cut your losses, bro. And you move on with your yeah. life. Oh, like you don't I even don't ask. I, you don't, don't, if you, if someone's told you once, then to follow up again, it's just like, it's awkward on their end, bro. Oh, so, you know, I mean, if they're not really a friend, yeah, then I would literally get my manager to do it for me. Oh. But obviously, oh. that's a really different kind of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, okay, so you have to define that... Okay, so let me give you all a good example. Yeah. When I was in college, I used to book all my friends' trips because I wanted all the points on my credit card. And then I would have to deal with the... The big payments, right? Like, they're yeah. like five, six hundred dollar yeah, yeah, payments. Course, course. So, those ones were especially awkward because it's like, I've asked once, I'm not in the position where I can't get this money. Yeah. And maybe I don't know this person well enough, but also I've like benefited a lot, like 
of points from doing that. So you but can't you know, ask them to pay for the no, hotel, for example. I think I think that's something you can very clearly ask because yeah, that's a very like obvious yeah. thing that you don't, don't like, need to pay for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not like a meal, you like know. We're talking yeah. about a meal, right? Yeah, meal is still you could treat or you know whatever. I mean, I just let it go. Honestly, it really depends on the amount and the. But that, that's the thing I was going to say. It depends on the amount also. Yeah. At some point, the amount, the amount dictates the action the you take. <laughs> Correct. Hmm. So yeah. yeah. So this is a tough one, but it's I would definitely. Yeah. So what I mean is, I'd find a way of them to pay me back. Like, why don't you just text them, which is what I would do, and just be like, "Hey, remember we went out for dinner that day? I don't think you've paid me yet." But how many times can you do that? Just like once yeah. you tell them That's at the dinner. The second thing is the worst. No, no. If you if it happens like text. three yeah, so times like, and these guys, this person still hasn't paid you, then you you just realize this person's a bit of a sleazy person yeah. refusing to pay you. And you never go out with them again. Yeah, and you yeah. just cut your losses, bro. Yeah. Okay. What if you see them going out for dinner with everyone else <laughs> and you're like, they're paying there. No, but then you tell everyone, bro, this dude hasn't paid me, and then all of them are gonna be like, yeah, fucking weird. This dude never pays. I think that's uh, to be honest. In I think that's what happens. I think everyone yeah. just kind of knows. Who doesn't yeah. pay, and then like if you if I was booked on a group trip, and for some reason someone didn't pay, and one person booked, everyone else would be like, "Yo, just pay," because yeah. Yeah. we've done this as a group, bro. This guy's just offered to put the card down. Yeah. And I always believe that if you've put the card down for the whole group, you deserve the points because following up is awkward as fuck. Yes. Yeah. That's why I prefer when other people do it, yeah, so yeah. I can just pay you, and I don't have to deal with this nonsense. No man, I do it for the points. I don't. You mind know what? Yeah. I would <laughs> also like points. sometimes what I do is if um if it's like a slight. larger amount i would just be like oh you know my drivers in like around your house so if if you have cash like <laughs> <laughs> that's like basuli <laughs> that's legit no, no, basuli no, no, but like you have to get your money back i, do, I just the, don't what's the most expensive thing you own i mean uh, n- i that I, that you've bought house? yourself i don't know uh, um, you've bought a house no when i <laughs> It's a very different, different that I've bought myself. That you bought yourself. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. Your laptop, your phone. Do you I have didn't buy my laptop more? myself? See, you guys have to remember, I'm like ten years older than you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you my budget little, is a bit different. Yeah. I bought yeah. myself a trip to Goa. Like cool. I just financed it. That's cute. On my own. Well, yeah, I also paid for a trip. Like I, just, I pay for everything for myself. So really, my life is a gift to me. No, but like, you know what? A specific thing like the Goa trip is a good answer. Like the last big purchase I've made that came entirely from my money. Would probably be <laughs> a Lego set or something, you know, like a collector's say, item. Yeah, like Lego, or like I, oh yeah, like I bought a signed Taylor Swift CD or something. I um, also love a Swarovski. You necklace. bought yourself a Swarovski? Yeah, all the time. Oh, sick! That's all the cool. time, all the time. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Once a year, I'll buy something. Oh yeah. Yeah. Actually, you know, what, probably like an expensive meal. Like I went out for a good meal and I paid for oh, the whole thing. Paid, yeah. I think for me. What's yours? Yeah, I'm interested to know because um, <laughs> you're like. <laughs> I mean, Way more successful, clearly. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm like a lot older than you guys. I would say my gym membership is quite expensive. Oh, my Which gym do you go to? Shout them out. I go to Knox. Oh, Ooh. Joel. Yeah, he's my trainer. Love him. The best trainer in the world, and I completely love him. Yeah. Well, so, and he's I, he's worth every penny. For even sure. Even I have the best trainer in the world. Who is your trainer? Jay. Jay. Coach Jay. Oh no, wait, I'm missing him. Yeah. I, I really wanted to hang out with Jay, but we told him you were coming on the pod. He was like, I guess I'm not gonna be on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you're so you, oh, he just got so nervous <laughs> that so he was nervous. like, I just can't handle this pressure. Yeah, yeah, it's so, so it's a yearly funny. membership that is the most expensive thing you pay for. Yeah, actually, the most expensive thing is obnoxious. I'm not gonna say it. Say, say, come on. I'll tell you guys after. No, 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 say. <laughs> we'll bleep it out. <laughs> just no, like, you won't. just like we'll remove the cousin part. So don't worry. <laughs> no, will you actually no, no, remove we'll, it? No, we'll, no, we'll bleep out no, what I you say, really, but I we'll get... keep the amount. No, yeah, don't. What okay, we'll like bleep. We'll, no, no, no. We'll bleep won't. out the amount. We'll keep what you say. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not what saying that. Yeah, you have to pick one. <laughs> I'll tell you guys at dinner. Yeah, yeah no, no, we we want to know also. Tell us right now. Okay. Well, <laughs> I mean, guys, we don't want to pressure anyone. I actually will be at the dinner, but not on your page. For context, <laughs> Aditya and Ariana and Tarni are going out for dinner after this, and Aditya texted on the group saying, "Hey, let me know if you guys are free for dinner after the shoot." Because you know we're yeah. going out with Tarni, and I had already committed to going out with my friend. And like he, like one of my family friends' girlfriend is in town, and we're like meeting the girlfriend. So he said, "Hey, you know, why don't you bring your girlfriend, whatever?" And a bunch of us are going out. So I'd already committed to that. Okay. It ju- fate would have it that <laughs> no, Aditya, don't tell her the restaurant. I haven't told her. Aditya and my friend 
booked the same restaurant at the same time. It's a good restaurant. It's an amazing restaurant. And now what's going to happen is we're, we're all going to say, hey man, great shoot. <laughs> and then all drive to this restaurant and then I'm going to bump into y'all. And I don't know how, I was talking to my friend about how do I do this? Should I just pretend to not know y'all? Like, oh, y'all are thinking about another guy. That's just a strange situation. <laughs> yeah, tell us. How would you do that? I mean, if you were Aman, how would you deal with? <laughs> how would you deal with this? I need to What's know Aman? from Aman whether he actually wants to be on our table or he. What's what is the intention? First, tell me that. Well, now I'm on that one table, bro. Now I've committed. Yeah, so and you, you and want you would, to be on that table? As in, like I've said yes. You I think it's rude to joining tables. I, I. So the thing is, it's not. If it, if I had already had a dinner booked, which is me and my boys, I would be like, oh my god, just join my table. What a great time! It'll be lovely, like you know, a movie. But it's not. It's like this dude's <laughs> friends and his girlfriend and his other friends who I don't really so know. We are your your yeah, dude's so friends. It's a bit awkward for me to go, yo. Come join us while we meet my friend's girlfriend yeah, for the first time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just gonna be like, oh, haha, they're they're here as well. What a we, great time! You know what we'll do? We'll send you a drink. Yeah, first. send send us something. <laughs> Compliment <laughs> the play, play, play tribute. You know? <laughs> yeah. Said, what's the most expensive thing you own? Oh, I I don't know. Like maybe my running shoes, which I bought. Nice. Uh, it's, not, it's not that expensive, but it's your watch. My no, my watch. It's my dad's watches. Okay. Yeah. And uh, my running shoes, probably, yeah. That's the most expensive thing I've spent on as an investment in myself. Like, my therapist is really expensive. Yeah. yeah. I know what the most expensive thing I bought. It was a gift for someone. Oh, yeah. But the, the question is for yourself, no? For myself, uh, my, my doctor's bills in LA. <laughs> <laughs> you paid that for that yourself? The first bit I paid and then I, like whatever, I didn't pay the whole thing, whatever insurance covered and the rest of it I paid. Then the surgery and all... I had to ask my parents, but What's your ask? that's one of them. But I think uh, Deshaun's album. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's cool, bro. That's like that's a, a business answer. purchase. Yeah. 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 Sick answer. Oh, oh and, okay, okay. I I know the second most expensive thing I bought okay, is also art. I bought myself. Um, do you guys know Souza, the artist? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So I bought myself a painting, oh, but like yeah, it's a tiny, tiny, like the size of my phone kind of. But that's Those awesome. Really expensive. Yeah. Those are yeah. like yeah, thirty, that is cool. forty. Yeah, that's a cool purchase. That's not more than like that. Three, four lakh. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. I was trying to get the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I, we should also, for context, say when Adi said that he was pointing at a camera, guys, not at Aryan. <laughs> <laughs> Just so y'all know. <laughs> Would have been a bit awkward. The camera that you see Tarani and all of us on. Yeah, That's yeah. the camera. Yeah. Okay, next next scenario. It's like, you know when you're sitting in front of the, like when you go for a haircut and then the hairdresser is done with the haircut yeah. and you hate it. Oh no. What do you say? And they're like, oh, do you love it? And you're like, yeah. They know. The city or some you know other what? Story. I, yeah. I, I just say that it's different, to what, but hopefully I'll get used to it. Yeah, but like, like you hate it and you go home. Oh, sometimes cry. I'm just like, oh, it's just hell, grow back. And then they yeah, know that's I what it is. Oh, that's Dude, mean. I, I honestly think that is both. That mean? Sid- you don't say that, that you think that. Yeah. No, I would say both that. Sid- what, you guys Sid- think honesty is mean? Like, what's going on? So, okay, so, okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. I, I think Sid and Tarani. Guys and girls are very different for haircuts. I think Sid and Tarani are just acting tough when the lights are on and the pressure is on. Y'all are not performing like this. The truth yeah. is, bro, if you No, 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 hold on. Let me let me make my point. If my barber looks at. If my barber gives me the most fucking egregious, atrocious haircut, which has happened a few times, y'all know I wear caps on the show for a reason sometimes. I I don't no no hold on I don't go and this Donnie says Acha hai na. I say yes amazing best haircut I've ever fucking gotten and I leave and I cut my losses and I wear caps for a week that is the right answer oh, no. okay if you, you seem to that, be cutting a lot of losses huh? <laughs> I don't want to cut my losses <laughs> only he lives a loss bro. <laughs> bro the answer is nah nah thoda odd lag raha hai thoda ye thoda wo and just like you know acha nahi lag raha that's it then you move on you know what though I feel that's like the way it is. this is also slight age thing Okay, I think I've spent so much of my life being a people pleaser mm. and it's only in like the last two or three years, I think, that I've been able to say what's on my mind. I love that. So I think that I would, and obviously being polite and kind, I'd never be like straight up mean, yeah. but I would also want to ensure exactly. that, that I never get that haircut again. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. If it's I, a, I think I feel like telling them is better than not ever going back to them. There's a way of saying it. You can say yeah. it's not good, but there's a way of saying it's not yeah. good. And that's yeah. why you have to just do tread lightly there. Dude, yeah. are you guys loyal to your barbers? I mean, your hairdressers? No. Now I am. Now oh, you are. Yeah. So it takes time to find a good yeah. one that you trust. I'm, I'm loyal to my establishment, not to my specific barber. Oh. Okay. Do they give you points? 
No, it's just the club. I'm like oh. super loyal to my guy. I cannot go to anyone else. Yeah. See that that's an issue because what if you desperately need like a haircut or something and this Donny is just not in town? <laughs> I have him explain it to the other person. Oh. Like I have him call and explain uh-huh. it. Okay, so I mean, but you're still going to the same establishment. Why did you think I have him on retainer? <laughs> 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 you know, my husband actually does. He does that. He has someone on retainer who comes and cuts his hair. Wow. Yeah, like every two weeks. What does your husband do? He runs a digital media agency called Rep India. Oh, cool. I don't know if you can. And he he's also has an office in Bombay. I think when we did the awkward work stories you had sent in a response. I'm not oh, yeah. 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 out my name for I did, a reason. I did. Right? I haven't said anything. That was anything. Is that true? Yeah, it's partly. I mean, of course <coughs> I was being facetious and like click baity, but it is true. Kind of. Yeah, you, you know said kind of. of. Yeah, of course, I do. I remember this because you pointed it out to me very explicitly. Yeah, I was like, Look. <laughs> and I Guys. saw that. Okay, I saw that. And I was like, <coughs> and then I was like, okay, it's fine. Guys, go it's watch fine. the episode and fi- try and guess which one we're talking about. <laughs> but it's true. It's true. Okay, I think that was a really successful segment of what would Tarani do. We're going to definitely do this with other guests moving forward. And you were sick at it. How did I do? Do you guys want to rate me? So what? we can't rate you yet. Let's see how other guests do. And then we'll say, hey, you were oh, better oh, or you worse. know my favorite thing that you guys did and I... Was that uh, episode where you all dressed up for the award ceremony? Yeah. Uh, that was so cute. Oh. That was like just right. adorable. Thank you. Well, speaking of dressing up, our next segment is where our fans sent in their favorite fits of theirs because they knew that you were coming on and they wanted to be roasted by you. Roast. Okay, I'm just not capable of that. So we're going to roast them, but I, I want to suggest that. something. Yeah. Why can't we all, let's, we're all dressed up, quote unquote. Let's yeah. all roast ourselves so we're not being mean to each other ah. so if you were to roast your current outfit how would you do that no, but let, let, let i love us. my outfit <laughs> i mean yeah, i love I my love outfit her. but i have a roast everyone also loves their outfit Outfit's very difficult to do how about you do best dressed and worst dressed from are us are they? Oh. no no that's me are okay how about okay how about i do um i analyze because i don't really know you guys what your outfit says about you as a human. Okay, yes. chalo. Sure, and I, sure. and you guys just tell me if I'm like, like, on point or not. Okay. 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 So and, and it's, I genuinely don't. I, I kind of know the two of you, but only yeah. kind of. Like yeah. I don't fully know you because it's the first time I'm meeting the two of you. Okay. Okay. So let's start so, with Sid. Okay, Sid is a likes to be taken a bit seriously. <laughs> no? Okay. Okay. Oh no, yeah. Of she course. said a bit. So like okay. a like a tiny bit. Yeah. Sure. But who doesn't? Like, who, <laughs> who would? Who would want no, like so many people just like want to play the fool all the time and okay, don't sure. want to be known as the cool fun guy. Sure. Like yeah, yeah. He doesn't have that. Like he's he's someone who's so he's not he's, cool or fun. No, <laughs> he is of course, but he doesn't care if you think he, he is. Ah, okay. Oh, I, nice. that, I that I agree with. That I do agree with. You see what I mean? Yeah. Like, I do agree with you. On yeah. That. yeah, like you don't care yeah. if he thinks you're cool. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I do though. Thanks. Think you're cool? Sweet. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. But okay, so that, I think also, I don't know, I'm getting kind of slight artsy vibes from the, the shirt. Ah. Yeah, I mean, that's true. It, it, it's from it's from Jaipur and it's like from Bondo. Yeah, like I think like, you're the kind of person who uh, likes to, is it kind of India proud, maybe? Yeah. Like yeah. you su- like, like a hippie. No, no, yeah. not a hippie. Like vocal for local. Like vocal for local, kind sure. of. Sure, sure. Yeah? Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's spot on. That's spot yeah. on, actually. Is yeah. it? Yeah. 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 Okay. Next. Next. Great one, great one. <laughs> we have. Oh my she fucking said, I look cap. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> cap. Fucking so great outfit. Moving on to Ariana. <laughs> no, okay. No, I'm kidding. Okay, so <laughs> I would say... <laughs> Slightly preppy. <laughs> okay, like I won't comment. Finish, uh, finish up. I'm just okay. Let me think about this. Let me. You can call him gay if you want. No, finish, no. Up, finish, up, finish up, finish up, finish up. No, preppy is good. This is preppy. I gay men dress a lot better, honey. <laughs> I mean, I spoke about my girlfriend no, like four okay. times on this episode. I'm like, genius to figure out I'm not gay. No, but, no, that's such a stereotype anyway. Yeah, I agree. Look at yeah. this. Look what I have to deal with. I know. Toxicity. Seriously, horrible. what is going horrible. on in this show? I thought I like, them. are you guys all Gen Z? I'm feeling yeah. it for Jays. Like, like, yeah. yeah. Um, I okay. Finish what you're gonna say. And I'll tell you the in- intent behind the outfit. I mean, ba- like already trying to hide a bad haircut. I already know that. Okay. It's just, it's, he, you know what? He is just the nicest guy. And I'll tell you why. Because he's had a sucky haircut. <laughs> but he's too nice a guy 
to actually tell his barber that he's had a sucky haircut. Mm. So I will say I haven't actually had a haircut at all. I just wanted oh. to wear this cap. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> and I do think this is a little preppy. I'm I'm not usually described as preppy. I do have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on my socks. So I think that changes up the preppiness. No, it doesn't actually. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, it adds to it. I noticed the socks. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. I, this is also not just like a it's Nick's like, cap. It's a MoMA cap. It's a cap. MoMA. I yeah. know, I know, I know. Yeah. No, no, no. Slightly cooler. Slightly cooler. Yeah. Slightly but cooler. ever so slightly. I also really love the color green. I also think I look a little bit like Luigi if he was hipster and Indian. Luigi. Okay. Like you ask her what brother. she thinks, but yeah, I, agree no, with, I agree with all. No, no, see, listen, I'm trying to do like a slightly deeper dive into your personality. What do you think I do so, for a living? A podcast. Well, <laughs> apart from the podcast. I think that's a better question. I feel like, well, can I just say, I feel like I could be told, I feel like you work in finance. See, that's why oh. you're wrong. Oh, no. Because I think me. I'm the opposite of finance. I work yeah, in yeah. film. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. He makes no money. <laughs> There's why no do you think, finance. Why do you think I said my parents have bought everything big for me? My most expensive purchase was a Lego set. I'm like, oh, fine. Lego <laughs> sets are Lego sets. Okay, okay, let's move to Ariana. Okay, sorry. My heart, like you're so right. It's like, I think Ariana is like without stereotyping, like the best example of girl next door. Oh, I love that. That's the truth I told her yesterday. Like, yeah, literally. literally. Yeah, and I also think that... <laughs> what? not good for the show. What? <laughs> so much power to Ariana is not good for the show. <laughs> no, really, I mean it. And I just think that... I just, I feel like I really like you. So I oh, just... Thank you so much, Tarani. You're yeah, the I reason really like I'm on this show. Tarani. So... You are being okay, too Okay, done then. <laughs> <laughs> done that out. Okay. Mm -mm. This one's an alpha, kind of alpha energy. Yeah. I get alpha energy. I feel like you have to be number one. Hmm. And you're not okay with not being number one in anything that you do. And to a point where you, like, almost drive yourself crazy if you're not. Yeah. It's like... Oh, am I completely off? You're completely <laughs> right. Oh, yeah? yeah? You're like, so on point. It's wild. Yeah. yeah. I get that from 100%. you. 100% accurate. And I think you're actually quite hard on yourself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, how could you tell just based yeah, on... Yeah, wow. Maybe we should start dressing differently because we're <laughs> too much away. <laughs> I also think that maybe you hide... You hide... <laughs> what do I hide? What is he hide? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see him get really scared. He got really scared. I hope you got like a zoom in of his <laughs> Should we try and do you? Yes, do me. Um, I'll just say one thing though, before you get to Tarani there is a caveat that you have a stylist right so sure but I, didn't choose I, pick, this. I pick what I want but oh. he has a stylist because he wants to be number one he needs to be number one even in terms of his dressing yeah, yeah. Hmm. this is a guy who makes an effort yeah. that is true yeah. he does yeah. Yeah. but having said that I think you have me beat on the outfit front so I'll take number two today just throw on a jacket what do you guys think what do you guys what's the vibe y'all get from Tarani I just want to say I think you're so sweet I really do. I also really Ever do. Ever since I like first met you, That's you have so only sweet. been so lovely. Did y'all meet at the Cosmo event? Yes, oh. we did. <laughs> oh, no, 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 we did not. <laughs> sorry, sorry we, met in an, we met in another event. We, sorry, I was thinking of the cult. cult yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I thought you said cult event. Yeah, because y'all yeah, yeah. knew each other. You introduced me to Yeah, her. yeah, yeah. We met very vaguely though that yeah, night yeah, very, like, in Delhi. And yeah, yes. that's why I think it was so shocking that you remembered me at the Cosmo event. Yeah. Because I was like, Adi, I, I don't know who she is, but like, I don't think she'll remember of me. Of course I would remember okay, you. Okay, I'll, I'll go. I just think you, you're you like, you know how there's every friend group has like a bubbly personality in it? I feel like you are that in your friend group. You're easy to talk to, kind of um, um, carefree. What's the word? Happy-go-lucky. Yeah, for sure. 100%. Yeah. But I feel like that you know about me, like not through my dress. I, I have a, no, I I have an, I have an opinion. Choice today. Stuff like that. Like well, when you, yeah, go green ahead. is trending, right? Green's the color. You so know it, know don't you know bro. it? Come don't on, you man. Know it. Keep up to date with the trends. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. we yeah. know it. Look at us, right? Does, it is, though. Doesn't this chair know it? We can yeah. green screen them and then just do whatever we want. Green is trending, and it's obviously like, you know, the, the shoulder pads. Shout, shout, out, shout out to the 80s. I wasn't born yet. But you know what I'm saying? Like, it's giving like uh, boss, right? So that's very like. Boss. I love that for me. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. I do think your. Um, you, you were like the mother of your group. You oh were God, like, no. no, well, shit. Yeah, I feel like the opposite. Yeah, I, the yeah. Like, but don't people come I, to you with their problems? Yes, they do. 
mother. I'm a cousin. Ah. <laughs> okay, okay. I think we should move on yeah. to the outfits okay. that we've curated. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we asked you guys to send in your fits. We have curated like the best of them. And based on the top three, you can pick one winner and they will win. You can decide. Oh my God, they win something. You can win like a voucher. To some store. Okay, I can, I can, I can actually provide the gift. Oh, you don't have to. We'll do no, that. No, I'd love to. You can tell us where to get the voucher. No, from. I would love to. I would love that. Okay, cool. Okay, Darini's cool. gonna give you yeah. a gift then. Yes, yes. And yeah. we'll send something along with it. Yes. Okay? So yeah, you guys can add to it. What do you want to send? Do you know? I mean, it depends, right? I'm gonna see who wins, and then I'm gonna think about what yeah. they might like. Okay, oh. nice. nice. That's so yeah. sweet. So what are we doing? This we're ranking the outfits out of ten. We're roasting the outfits, and then. If we like some, we'll keep them in a separate bucket. Okay. Oh man, I, like, I feel like I just don't have that. that so you be nice. We'll be nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so first up, we have Muskan, who sent us this picture. Hey, is she a hottie? Yeah. Yeah. We go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't, I, I don't, I, I feel like she's, she's really well-dressed. She looks really hot. I like that. With like a bling to- top, what's really intelligent is that she's kept the accessories super minimal. Sure. I like the sleek skirt as well. I mean, I genuinely feel that it's, this is a great outfit. Sure. I agree. Hair and makeup looks great. Hair and makeup looks bad. <laughs> yeah, right? I Doesn't mean, how, how can I roast like this? You know what I mean? There's nothing sh- to roast. Sure. Yeah, there'll be others. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you have nothing like, oh, just 10 out of 10. Would you, what would you do differently, maybe? I would do my hair up with a top like that. Okay, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> you would also do your hair up? Yeah, with, with a top, top like, like that. that. Okay, here's a roast-worthy man. <laughs> Why is he... I just feel like I have to, for the sake of humanity, ask men to stop making this expression in photographs. Yeah. Like, just smile. You'd look so much better. Or, or, or not smile, but this is like this, like, magnum pout, you know, like a... And it's also a very dirty picture, like... The quality of the picture is not that nice. So like, no, 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 because the blacks are the whole outfit, right? Like it's an all black outfit and the blacks just don't shine through. Can I zoom? I I do have to say I love the earring. Oh, I was going to hate on that for like five minutes alone. (laughs) (laughs) I really like it. I think, listen. And the corset. Yeah. It's not a corset. It's a corset, bro. It's not. It's a cummerbund or whatever. I want to say that I think this is a really cool look. Oh, you like it? I think it's a really cool, it's a really bold look. I think the corset is super on trend. I just have a problem with the expression. I just think the one thing I have again, it, it seems a bit basic to me, bro. Hey, Are there's so many details. It's just it? all black. Okay, what do you guys think of the low shirt button? That's a vibe. I enjoy. Yeah, I enjoy that. But without any chest hair, like it's, <laughs> it's just a little. I like it. It's a little boyish. Okay. I'm just going to say, I'm going to say I like everything. Because that, and I'm not even just like being pretend nice. Like my friends have a problem with this. Like they, they think just that they just think I like everything. I'll tell you what oh. my issue with it is. He hasn't ironed his blazer properly. It's sloppy. I think the whole thing is sloppy. I think it's because of the pose, guys. Yeah. yeah. The reason, yeah. I think I it's the... Dude. <laughs> you really just don't no, like no, this no. poor guy? Before we go, say one good thing about this picture. You, really you have to say like one good guy. thing. Uh, his uh, facial structure is amazing, man. Okay. Good facial structure. Okay, yeah. we have Shivali next. Beautiful picture. I can't yeah. really see her outfit yeah, though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I and love how Adi, Adi judges the camera before everything. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a, she's a cool girl. She's the kind of girl oh, yeah, I'd yeah. be friends with. Oh. Yeah. She has, she seems to have some cool gloves on. Cold and not like a fashion statement. How do you know? <laughs> because <laughs> if she was it's cool, she'd thing. have like maybe a layer on. She's wearing a sweater on top of something. Yeah. Y'all know everything, huh? <laughs> <laughs> One second. Okay, sorry. I think this is outfit is great for if you're like running errands. Yeah, like a basic like, outfit. I mean, <laughs> sure. No, I like think if it's you're like alone a, and no one's no. seeing you. No, it's like a going for coffee with your friends and going to the bank and doing some like is bank work. Meeting your friends an errand, Tarani, is that what you're saying? Oh. No, no, it is like a, what I mean is it's it's a it's a it's a cute outfit like I agree yeah. I, like I a, think it's a cute it's it's a chilly day in wherever she lives yeah it's, it's like cute a, outfit it's to like her. a practical cute outfit it gives me big second early second semester vibes <laughs> sure, sure sure you know what I'm saying okay that's a bit okay. specific but <laughs> not, not much to say on this outfit yeah, it's just, I mean, it's just it's a, cute yeah it's a, it's a nice show so, the chuckles yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to know where she's going. Can I tell you what this outfit is? Yeah. yeah. This is, I'm cleaning my room after ages and I've found things in my cupboard and I'm putting all of them on. <gasps> oh no, this is, 
this is a boyfriend sweatshirt <gasps> This photograph tells a story, guys. This is I'm high. It's three a.m. I gotta go get snacks. Yeah. No, Tarani's right. Is- Look at the size of the slippers. She's dressed as her boyfriend. She's yeah. dressed as her boyfriend, she, guys. So what, her boyfriend only has one sock, or what? No, that's might be her. No, this sock. is I'm going down to do laundry. Yeah. Yeah. And I yeah, misplaced yeah, this is the I'm sock. Going to do laundry. And, and one of the socks is in the laundry. Yeah. You know so what big? this She's could also be like, you know, when you're like at a fashion, like many international fashion weeks, they have like these protesters. Oh, <laughs> like who who are so like, against like, fashion. So against fashion. <laughs> <that. laughs> right after Tarani said, I like everything. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I don't like this. I'm sorry. I don't. Yeah. I don't like it. This is, it's giving, I'm going to the sig shop to just, I mean, know, it's great. Thing. I like it because it looks really comfortable, but. I mean, yeah. The anti, the protest is a little ruthless, huh? Yeah, can we cut that off? <laughs> no, dude, I think Tarani is, this is 100%. I stayed it's the night. It's a boyfriend. Yeah, like I stayed that, the yeah. night at a guy's house 100%. and I didn't have clean clothes. It's actually a walk of shame outfit, guys. Yes, yes. In the walk of shame, you take his slides. No, no, no. Yeah, she's you're not, wearing very high heels. Ah, okay. But she's not going home. She's going down to pick up the food. Yeah, yeah. She's, 100%, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. yeah. Actually, I, 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 I yeah. want to say, <laughs> I want to say, I want to be friends with this girl. Now she's, you're just overcompensating for the protest thing. You can't even see her face, no, she, bro. She, she, she looks like someone who has a good time. Okay, let's see oh. who the next person... Oh, ah, okay. Friend okay, of the show. I Artist of the show. love this outfit. Same. Great fucking outfit. And also what's really cool is that you know you have to be a cool person to pull this outfit off. Like, I could never do that. I'd look extremely, like, foolish. But she is rocking so it. like we were telling you earlier she is the person who did our artwork in the studio yeah, yeah i love that oh that's, that, oh, that's oh, jay's I didn't sister I, bro oh, this is cool. damn f- small i on love our this outfit like she's me too i love the this, t-shirt this is a 10 the, on 10 can i yeah. tell you what it is knowing having met her she has the vibe to carry this yes, out this yeah. is what i mean yeah, this it's is a not vibe. an outfit for everybody yeah and the, the best outfits are the outfits that only you can pull off mm. yeah. yeah because they're really like it's a personality outfit yeah i agree S- sid sorry to club you in with me we could not wear this <laughs> i could not i couldn't I wear could it either. either but i think it looks like it fits her vibe so it's cool yeah yeah and even sure. the, f- the f- like the surrounding the yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's all matching it's like yeah. on the london tube. honestly yeah she could have won but it's a bit nepotismish, so yeah. we won't do yeah. that. Yeah, She's yeah, out yeah. of the competition, but cool oh. outfit. Great yeah. outfit. She's cool. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Why are you it's laughing so picnic. much? <laughs> it's giving arts and crafts. The necklace. The oh. necklace is cool. Right? The like, t-shirt is a tablecloth. Yeah. It just has like embroidered flowers, it seems. Oh, see, it's that's flowery. Cool. It's a cool oh, that's, look. I think that's yeah. cool too, that's bro. That's a cool look. It's Can cool. I Again? also do like his um, flats a lot. I'll tell you what I don't like. Public mirror selfie. Thoughts? Oh my god, you do not like me then at oh, all. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. I, I have a photo on my Instagram. <laughs> it's private, but that like has like public mirror selfies. I don't like how public this area is. What do you mean? It's like a store, it's no? It's a store, yeah. But if you go to a store, you try clothes on and that's like the one photo. He's this not him trying. He's clearly not trying this, this on. Like this. He's walked into a store and then grabbed a pic of himself. I do that, that was- all the time. I have no issues with that. One thing I really like about the photo is the pose. <laughs> is the pose? The pose. Is the, sorry, is the public message. No, it's cool. I think it's a cool outfit. I think the red choker thing is cool. I, I think. love the red choker. Oh, good, okay, vibes, good vibes. All in all, good, good, good outfit. Sure, I think it's on one of those, again, where you have to like... You have to be, be the person. Yeah. Okay. What do we think of this? Not a fan of the hair. It's the one thing he wasn't asking feedback <laughs> for. Simple, a uh, tote bag... Dark green t-shirt, jeans, some, I would assume, nice kicks. I don't know. Seems yeah. like he cares about them. This is the person who decides his shoes first and then, then his the outfit. outfit. Yeah. Yeah. And honestly, the hair adds like a like good composition hair. to it. I, I, like. I like the hair. I'm sorry, this is not a roast, but I... No, this, the hair is, the color is cool. The way he's cared for it is not good. Maybe that's just his natural hair. <laughs> yeah, bro. What do you, you mean? Know, I'm going to be honest with you. It looks like, bro, went a little, it looks like, you know when someone goes a little ham on their bitmoji? <laughs> <laughs> but the shoes are cool. I think the tote bag is cool. Yeah. The tote bag matches the pants. The shoes match the t-shirt. The hair matches nothing. It's a are good vibe. avoid the fact that he knows this picture is being taken? Yeah. But he's like uh, purposely being nonchalant. I do that and all the time though. So I just... Darling like, does everything, bro. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's an outfit to remember. Oh, yes. This is the outfit. Oh, I, I, wish, the, I wish the blazer was in there. I wish a lot of things weren't. <laughs> no, I think, I think without the blazer, actually, it's a, it's a cute outfit. You, you know no. what it reminds me of? 
Taylor Swift reputation. No, bro. Stop. Yep, she's going to a Taylor Swift concert and she's dressed as reputation. Oh, maybe, man. Oh, Look I it. thought she was Snake going for like a Mandy. Uh, like a Indian outfit, It's no? like Mandy business, you it's know? Like a, it's like <laughs> when you have Mandy in the day and then a meeting in the yeah, evening. Yeah. It's like Mandy at three. Dude, yeah, it's, the, it's the, it's the, it's the um, outfit version of a mullet. You know what I'm saying? Business on top and party underneath. Uh, you know what I'm saying? No, I think it's just. It's I, it's bad, guys. Let's just say yeah. what, say what it is. I I would just not. I only say I'd, no. <laughs> I do away with the the top layer, and I think then it's a nice outfit actually. I mean, there's a classic draped skirt. There's you know. The skirt is cool. Yeah. But is it I too draped? Is what my thing. I think there's no such thing as too draped. I think the reason the blazer is on. <laughs> Is because the blazer makes it a night outfit. No, this I think maybe she's just feedback. cold. Like I think it's a Mandy and she's about to leave and then she got a bit chilly, so she borrowed like borrowed yeah. someone's blazer. It's not uh, giving Mandy vibes at all. To it me. really is to me. I I feel like in It's that other guy who was who had the corset on, she took his blazer, <laughs> you know, they were together. They were together. Okay. This is an oh, other I friend like of the show. This outfit a lot. I love those pants. Same. Who is that? That's, that's very, Veronica. That's a cool outfit. Those pants just look like they would just be too you know oh, what I, mean? I actually do. Like yeah. your ex ah, okay. slash your cousin. Yeah, wait. Can <laughs> no, you? Because it looked like jeans to me earlier. It's like those silver. They're jeans. They're, it's denim and it's just coated. Ew, no. <laughs> Feels hot. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I agree. No, I, I, I think this is a. I mean, I don't know. I, I. Maybe, maybe for Bombay summer, it's a bit. Yeah, this is. Yeah, but maybe yeah I she's guess in, I know she's a Bombay girl. But maybe she's in New York. No, she's. No, no, this is her Bombay house. Okay, but maybe it's like it's January or December. No. Sure, sure, I mean, could be. Yeah, but you know, fashion doesn't know comfort. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like the I like the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> but so okay, so this mirror you're fine with private a mirror, mirror selfie because the private mirror. Dude, I don't mind a public mirror selfie. I legitimately have like public mirror selfies. I just thought in the, it was just like the middle of the store. I didn't like the vibe. The outfit in the store didn't match. I think the outfit in the, the yeah, the I actually match. agree yeah. with you. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. now it this is an interiors segment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, he made it a camera segment. <laughs> oh, okay. Woo-hoo! Another friend of the show, friend Vibhav, of the show. who I, just got married. Congratulations, Vibhav. Is this Vibhav. his uh, wedding outfit? Yes, this is his wedding. I guess. Congratulations. Yeah. I love the hat. Dude, yeah. I, I love it. I think it's such a vibe. He's yeah, just, yeah, he's a vibe today. This guy is cool. <laughs> I'm yeah. a fan. He can't win, but I'm a fan. He's also the groom, so I guess he wants to peacock a little bit with the hat. Yeah. He's peacocking As he a should, bit. Yeah, he's yeah. peacocking. And he but has a lot of cool hats from what we know of him. Oh, he's a hat guy. Yeah. He's a big hat guy. <laughs> okay, but otherwise pretty simple, just a basic outfit. Okay, here is Soumya. Oh, she looks like Elsa from Frozen. Yeah, it's, yeah literally. It's, it's giving... Cinderella. It's giving it is ta- giving Cinderella. It's giving Taylor Swift debut. It's it dry. feels like one, like a big part of it is wet and the other, this is just dry right here. <laughs> you know? I like, I like modern Cinderella, bro. I'm, I'm a fan of this. No, no, it's like it's this called outfit. ombre, guys. Okay. <laughs> Shana, I think we can all, roasting. I think we can all agree that I'm not a good roaster. No, the one girl you said should, she's <laughs> protesting fashion. <laughs> you said she's protesting fashion. Here's... Thoughts on the sweater, Adi? Thoughts on the sweater. Is this a... Sorry, is this a famous artist? Or yes, that's pla- cause, cause. It's cause, right? I just want to say it's my favorite outfit. Unbiased. <laughs> I think it's really cool. Yeah. It just feels mismatched. Like, when I see a sweater on a shirt, I don't want to see it match with joggers. But it's it's the kind of the sweater it is. It's like but then a, just wear the sweater. Don't wear the collared polo or shirt but it's inside. it's chilly outside. No, he means like you can wear a t-shirt as opposed to the collar. Yeah. And then he went for the untied look as well. That could be unintentional. No, no. Both... <laughs> and they're so short. Not a, not, not a fan of the of the pants like crumbling up above the shirt, above the shoes. I also don't like that the you know I hate when the blacks don't match. Mm, I don't like yeah. that either. I hate I it. Okay. Next. A next. pretty skippable outfit. Next, a yeah. skippable one out. Can you tell here? Are these just girls who are sending you their photos? Because <laughs> <laughs> at this point, it just lo- like it just looks like that. Uh, no, I like it. It's cute. I love it. I think it could do with some accessorizing though. Yeah, it's a little too basic. Like you basic. need something. It needs a necklace. It, it lacks a je ne sais quoi. You know? Yeah. Like a, <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this one had an interesting story. She said she customized this jacket this for her 29th cool. birthday. Very cool. And... Here, there's. I think there's one more yeah. picture. It says no flies on my cake. What is? is so that's a cake. It's that's a cake she, there. She wore it for her birthday. Well, so the M is giving scarlet letter. Did she make this jacket herself? Yeah. She customized it. Yeah. So you know the first, like my first business was called the Initial Studio, and I was actually going to get you guys something 
from there uh, and it was called the initial studio because we would it, like personalize and add initials to stuff oh. so like i just i would like this jacket because it kind of reminds me of that phase in my life but but now you wouldn't wear it yeah but like now i'm over it so if this had like a t for example and it said no flies on my cake and I like it. Someone gifted this to you on your birthday. Would you I enjoy like it? I like it. I like it. Again, I feel it's peacocking a little bit, but that's fine. I mean, that's that is fashion. Well, it's her birthday outfit. Yeah. Someone gifted me a customized denim jacket for my birthday, and I've never ever worn that shit in my life. And I just have to keep it because it's sentimental, you know. Yeah. But what does it say? Adi or does it say A? It has like bits from my songs and stuff. It's just cringy. Like I would never ever wear that <laughs> shit. Sounds like a pretty cool outfit to me, bro. No, they they make nice gifts. To be yeah. honest, but I don't know how much. Like, I would wear it. Yeah. yeah. Well, so no flies on my cake. I was trying to look that up to see if that was a reference to something. Like her birthday came so quickly. There was no flies on the cake. No, no apparently. No, what? No, like her birthday cake is so, so good. It's pristine. Uh, it's like so pristine. Like oh. nothing yeah. can fuck her birthday yeah. up. No. Like, she just ate up everything. Oh. So there were no flies. Oh. Well, <laughs> no, apparently no flies on my back is an idiom that means that I cannot be easily deceived. So I think it's a play on the idiom. And also there's a knife so she's like defending her cake. Yeah. But you also know what, you know you what they say the best is... writing is what people don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Like, <laughs> oh, so that's lace. I feel like there's a lot going on. Yeah, I feel like we need to see this again standing. But I just the feel jacket. like she doesn't know what she's going for, you know? You know, I'll tell you what she's going for. She's going for dress over jeans. Yeah. I would not wear this outfit. You know who yeah. dresses like this? Pink Panthers. Yeah, oh man, good. I think this is, a, it's, it is like a, it's a vibe. This outfit is a vibe. And again, like I said, it's a cool outfit because it's clearly her vibe. And I think yeah. the best but outfits that's are. That's the thing, like, this doesn't feel like she suits the vibe. Can I just say this outfit is giving fashion influencer? It is very trendy because this yeah, whole Josie dress thing, Josie yeah. dress thing is part of the Y2K movement. Exactly, the dress over the jeans. Yeah, that yeah. this exact look. And then obviously she's done a good job in keeping in monochrome, I think, on that shades of brown. And her hair also matches. Shut up, bro. What are you saying? <laughs> look at this. It's all <laughs> just because I legitimately believe, I don't think so this you is like an everyday this outfit. outfit. No, I don't. <laughs> but I don't. I think the intent is very clear, and I, I agree. If we know her and this is her vibe, like we had the benefit of knowing the other person's vibe, that's how we could yeah. say it was cool. It's not her vibe. How do you know? It's how not do her you know? Vibe? Okay, but okay, she I, would look in the camera. She wouldn't look away like this. I think it's anonymous. a little. It is a little try hard. I yeah, that's what that. I'm saying. It's a bit of a forced fit. Forced. Yeah, okay. I think, I believe this is the last yeah. one we have. This is definitely another girl just sending you a picture. I have not received these pictures, <laughs> guys. Just come to the HST page. Don't get me cancelled. <laughs> Why? What's cancelable about girls sending you pictures? That I solicited them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I like the sneakers. Okay, not the okay. skirt? I like the skirt as That's well. I, 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 not I would the bag, the, not the top? I would just change the top. I just love how she's matching with the background. Like she looks like that bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've seen all. Are there any standouts that you can even remember? Yeah, definitely the the artist. The artist. Yeah, but we right? can't we can't give it to her, she bro. Let me just copy. scroll through if you see. I any actually that... have to say, I know you guys are not going to be happy about this. I like the corset. Even oh, I don't mind it. Okay, you I think can give it to him. Fashion. I think that this outfit actually there's a lot of creativity behind this outfit. Yeah. So I appreciate that. Yeah. And I also, you Damn, know what I, I wasn't like? expecting this. No, but also what I like is I love it when, I love it when people like don't dress safe. Like mm. he's taking a risk with this outfit. Sure. I don't yeah. think so. Oh, I, would, yeah. I think he, it's so safe. It's all black. No, it's an all black see suit. see the belt detail, the earring, like the, 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 the low neck. Like this is the kind of outfit your male friends would make fun of if you were to wear out. My male friends would make fun of any it, outfit yeah. I wear out. Okay. So I don't think that agrees. I, I think this is very like... Okay, but she's deciding who the winner is, no? Okay, no, it can be a group decision. No, no, no. <laughs> no, it's your decision. I, no, the reason... It's group, this guy's never winning. <laughs> the reason I'm saying... I, okay, I have... I have I think, I think the outfit looks good on him. I think the suit clearly suits him. Hmm. The only thing I have against it is... I think the earring is very... Okay, guy, I'd like to give yeah. it to... Uh, if you're talking about taking thing, yes. risks, then this is a risky yes. fit. No, now I feel bad that I talked you out of giving that guy the prize. No, um... Instinct, go with instinct. Yeah. We don't mind. It's, uh, I like this guy. I like him. I like I, him. I, I was. No, I'd, of course we have her. Yeah, not her. Pass. <laughs> 
we have the kick guy Pass. we have veronica mm. oh yeah you know the thing is i've seen that outfit a lot on instagram fair, fair. like i also think i'm a bit jaded because i see a lot of these outfits and i like this i think it's between him like and him. black suit so you can decide i have okay, a suggestion I'll... yeah we're giving two gifts anyway okay fine what if you gift one okay, and fine. we gift one cool. so who do you want to gift you i think you picked him I, you should i gift like him. him yeah okay so siddhant message us on ig we'll get that sorted and do you know what you want to give him no i'm going to have to think about it okay you receive a surprise gift and then well mr ac and blanket i really like this outfit also yeah. i like this outfit the most so this is the hst winner yeah, not fine. the tarani winner <laughs> and we'll 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 have something sent to you as well just reach out to us on instagram and the end things i know that you have a gift for us i do so I let's get into that yeah okay. it's a picture of me in my best outfit oh okay no i'm just kidding uh, <laughs> i was i was like <laughs> thinking of how to reject this gift <laughs> situation you should talk about i think I'm that excited. that would have been cool as hell bro is it a picture of us no it's not oh mama a little piece of Whoa. art <gasps> it's a bit of a manuscript with like something playing with lyrics and stuff and what is this do you think it's a horse it is a horse because okay. the book has horse so the book is by oh, oh. i know this book you know it right the boy the, the, the horse boy, the, the mole ho- and yes, the yes, fox yes, or the fox yes, the whatever yes, yes yes it won an oscar for best short film yes as well i just really love this quote what is the so quote it says just take the step the horizon will look after itself this book is awesome dude it's a really yeah. good book it is an and amazing book and i also book. like i like the music cuz yeah. yeah thank you that means a lot That's- Yeah. It's such a great gift. Is it? Yeah. yeah it's nice thing it's lame like I wanted to no. no. I thought I'd I thought I'd do something like No, I want on this. Give thing. you guys an envelope of like a condom and cash or something. You know like <laughs> like something funny but I just I'm not that person. Oh, I, I want to say this is one of the nicest things we received yeah. from yeah. the show. Yeah. You can tell by legend. you can tell by where I place things how much I like them, oh, you know. Because there was an Adi side of things he likes. Oh, yeah. Yes. And J Sida thinks that J X. <laughs> you guys have got some interesting gifts, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I hope I wasn't boring. Not at all. I don't think I don't think they'd agree as well. So, uh, obviously, guys, all of Tarani stuff will be linked below. Go check out, show us some love, and we'll see you next week for the having said that show. Cause you remind me of the time your lips were caught on mine. Don't wanna go home. 